to install Ubuntu on Hyper-V Virtual Machine. In this video, I will guide you through the entire process step by step. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I am Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Webcast. In this video, we will create a new virtual machine in Hyper-V and install Ubuntu on it. For this demo, I am using a Windows Server 2025 machine that already has Hyper-V installed. Before setting up a new virtual machine, download the Ubuntu 2404 installation ISO from the official Ubuntu website. The link is provided in the description. For this example, I have already downloaded the Ubuntu Desktop 24042 LTS ISO image. Open Hyper-V Manager if it is not already opened. To create a new virtual machine, click on Action, select New and then click Virtual Machine. The new virtual machine wizard should appear. Click next to continue. Specify a name for the new Ubuntu virtual machine. Also change the storage location if you want to configure a location different from the default. In this example, I have given a name Ubuntu 2404 to this virtual machine and this VM is going to be stored under the VM folder on the D drive. Click next. Specify the Hyper-V generation of the new Ubuntu Virtual Machine. Select Generation 2 and click Next. Assign the amount of memory to allocate to the Virtual Machine. Use at least 4 GB of RAM. Click Next to continue. Now let's configure networking for the new Ubuntu Virtual Machine. Here we will connect the Ubuntu Virtual Machine to the external virtual switch so it can access the internet and the external network. Click Next. Use the Create a Virtual Hard Disk option to create a new hard disk for the virtual machine. Assign at least 40 GB of hard disk space and click Next to continue. Under the Install an Operating System from a bootable CD-DVD-ROM option, choose Image File.iso. Browse the ISO image of Ubuntu 2404 that has been downloaded earlier. Click Next to continue. Review the settings in the summary, then click Finish to create the new virtual machine. To ensure Ubuntu runs smoothly on Generation 2 Hyper-V virtual machine, we need to make a configuration change. Right click the newly created Ubuntu VM and select Settings. Go to Security. On the template, click the drop down menu and select Microsoft UEFI Certificate Authority. If we don't make this change, the Ubuntu VM won't boot with the default Generation 2 settings. Click on Apply and then OK to save the changes. In Hyper-V Manager, select our Ubuntu Virtual Machine, right click the VM name and select Connect. Click the Start button to power on the VM. The Virtual Machine should boot from the ISO image. Select the Try or Install Ubuntu option and press Enter to launch the graphical user interface of the Ubuntu installer. The installer provides multiple configuration steps in the wizard. Select desired language like English and click Next. Click Next again. Select keyboard layout for example English US and click Next. Select how your Ubuntu machine will connect to the internet. We will choose use wired connection. Click Next. An update is available for the installer. To update, click update now. Make sure Install Ubuntu is selected. Click Next. We can choose between interactive installation and automated installation. Automated installation option is for advanced users. Click Next. Here we have the option to install the applications with Ubuntu installation. In this example, we'll go with the default selection, which will install essential applications, web browser and basic utilities. Click Next to continue. This page gives us the option to download and install third-party software for graphics, Wi-Fi hardware and support for additional media formats. As this is a lab environment, we will not select these options. Click Next to continue. Now we should prepare a disk for installing Ubuntu. Choose the manual installation option to set up a new partition scheme and format the partitions. If you are new to Ubuntu, select the first option which will erase the blank virtual disk and create the required partitions automatically. Click Next. Provide a name, 
set the computer's name, choose a username and define a password. A password is required to log in by default. This is the most secure option and the one that is recommended. Click next. Select your geographical location and time zone. Software repositories located in our region should be used for better availability and downloading speed. Click next. Click install to start the installation process and copying files. We can read useful tips and OS explanations while files are being copied. This will take some time to complete the installation of Ubuntu in Hyper-V virtual machine. Wait until the installation process is complete. The installation has been successfully completed. It took around 8 minutes to complete the Ubuntu installation in Hyper-V virtual machine. We need to restart the virtual machine in order to use the new installation. Click restart now. After restarting the Hyper-V Ubuntu virtual machine, we can see the login screen. Select a username and enter a password to login. This window highlights the new features of the Ubuntu version we installed on Hyper-V virtual machine. At this point, we have successfully installed Ubuntu 24.04 on a Hyper-V virtual machine. That's all for this video on how to install Ubuntu guest operating system in Hyper-V virtual machine. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.